is my good friend Dan Harris. He's a freelance artist and recently was part of the team that won a BAFTA award for the kids TV show Project Z for S4C. Of course, he didn't get a BAFTA award to keep for himself, so he had to remedy that somehow. Now, replica BAFTAs aren't cheap, but I am, so I bought an old Star Wars Power of the Force back to tank set and figured that would do. So here's a turnaround of the original back to tank set. It's not complete, there are some tubes and stuff missing from the sides, but I didn't need those, so that's no big deal. And it's got a pipe at the top, which again, I'm not sure what it's there for. So, first things first, I'm going to take this thing apart and uh, give it a bit of a clean. The Luke Skywalker figure is intact, although the little pipe that sticks to him is snapped in certain places, but that's not a big deal, it's going to all, all going to be glued later anyway. But the first thing I do want to do is get rid of that excess of pipe that's hanging off the top of the, uh, off the tank. So that's quite a simple little job, just going to take that off with a knife, snippity snip. And then it's just a matter of getting some uh, antibacterial wipes and uh, giving that back of tank a bit of a clean. It wasn't in too dirty a shape anyway, but because I'm going to spray it, I want it to be nice and clean so that the spray will have something to adhere to. And then there's the base. I'm going to be cutting up this base as well. It doesn't need the, uh, the extra sticky out bit. Although I did consider keeping it um, to put a plaque on but instead I'm going to put the plaque uh, on the actual tank itself. So, it's Dremel time. Time to uh, go ahead and remove this little bit of the toy. This used to originally be like a stand for a medical droid, but the medical droid didn't come with the set. You had to buy it separately. And um, I've never owned it, so I figured there's no point keeping it. So it's just a matter of removing that, dremeling it off there. There we go. As you can see, I'm a I'm a skilled surgeon when it comes to this sort of thing. And uh, after I've removed the excess bits of plastic, I then take some sandpaper and I'm going to go through and uh, sand this down and basically smooth off uh, those rough edges there. And make a horrible mess while I'm at it. Okay, there we go. Just going to smooth those off. Pretty straightforward. Again, I'm just using regular sandpaper for this. You could probably use a finer grain, but I'm just using what I had uh, lying around the house. So, I went to the works uh, in my local town centre, and I picked up this really cheap gold spray. And I thought, oh, that's fantastic, really cheap gold spray, and we literally spent like a pound on this thing, and I thought, that'll be just perfect, because I wasn't going to do anything spectacular with this, and I needed to be cheap and cheerful. So this spray that I bought was exceptionally cheap and cheerful. And uh, as you can see, it uh, went on fine and covered all the figures. That looked, that looked absolutely great. So after a few hours of letting the cheap and nasty paint uh, dry, it's, well, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not drying. Shit. Well, at least I got the plaque for it. Well, wouldn't you know, it's got a typo on it. It's missing a quotation mark at the end of a winner. Great. Okay, so here we are. It's uh, 24 hours later, and the uh, cheap-ass spray paint, as you can see, hasn't really stuck to this figure in any way, shape, or form. In fact, um, from washing the figure here to get that spray paint off, the figure is now actually cleaner than when I first uh, did the original spray job on it. And you can see, there we go, it just doesn't stick at all. I mean, I'm quite glad that I only paid a pound for that spray paint, because otherwise I'd have been really knocked. I swear to God, this stuff is less sticky than an air hockey table. Okay, take two. So, this time I went to B&Q and I got some actual proper decent spray paint. And also, instead of spraying the whole thing gold, 
uh, I bought some black spray paint as well to spray the base black and then spray the Luke figure and the top of the back to tank gold as well. So that way I figured it looked a little bit more like a, a legitimate award. Which isn't to say it's not legitimate, it totally is. And anybody getting one of these would be, you know, super lucky to have one. Okay, time to finish up this bad boy. So I've uh, let it all dry and, you know, thankfully the paint is stuck this time. Um, I've got the old incorrect plaque, which has now been replaced uh, with a new one, which has got the correct spelling on it, which is, you know, a good thing. And uh, I've got myself some nice strong glue from B&Q uh, to fix up some elements here. So I've already put the Luke figure back into the straps, but uh, I've not I've fixed him in there. He's just hanging loose in there, which is quite cool. Uh, but I am going to have to glue that little hose pipe thing, uh, the breathing tube, to his face because the original strap that held it in there was snapped. And uh, this way, at least, it won't be just dangling around loose inside the, the tank itself. So just going to put that in place, hold that there, let it set, and not try and glue my fingers together. And also, the top of the tank uh, sits quite loosely on the um, the actual tube itself. So to make sure that it stays put, I just put a thin layer of glue around the top of the tank, and uh, that should hold the top in there quite nicely. Just going to put a nice heavy cup of coffee on there to hold that in place and let that set. And uh, now that's done, it's just time to put the plaque uh, on it. So I've got my old asthma inhaler. I'm just going to bend. Uh, that metal plaque around there to give it a nice curve. Just going to eyeball this one, it's not really super exact. And uh, it's, it already has uh, an adhesive strip on the back uh, of the plaque, so I'm just going to peel that off there. Measure that up and make sure it's going to fit. Yeah, I think that'll work just nicely. Peel, 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 there we go. I'm just going to get that in place. Go one shot of this, don't mess it up. Nailed it. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can smell the professionalism. So finally, to make the wording stand out on the plaque, I'm just going to uh, get some felt tip pen, black in the words and then wipe off the excess ink just to kind of make the letters a little bit darker and stand out a little more. Dan couldn't be here today to accept his BAFTA award in person. He's too busy somewhere creating thought-provoking artwork. But instead, he sent along a little video accepting the award, and here it is. First of all, I'd like to thank God through him, all things are possible. Uh, my mum and my dad, who are now with God, um, and uh, who would have thought that I could possibly ever live the dream to win a BAFTA award? <laughs> I mean, wow. Bravo, bravo, Dan. Woo! Um, thank you. Bravo.